So we're currently in our 4,000 square foot warehouse that we recently purchased in Detroit and we're about to turn this into our home. But first, let me tell you how we got here. So my name is Bo and me and my partner Kyle own a sustainable design studio called Woodward Throwbacks here in the city. Um, and yeah, we design furniture and spaces using reclaimed materials from the city. And when I say reclaimed materials, I'm not just talking about wood. I'm talking about metal, stone, acrylic, glass, like reclaimed materials is anything that can be repurposed, reused, and it's an extension of its life. And that's what we're trying to do. So this is our latest and greatest project. We've done other rehabs before, but this one, I'm like really, really, really excited about because we had been crushing absolutely crushing on this building for years which we're kind of low-key calling mystery on Mac because it's been a mystery and still it's been a couple months since we've owned it and I cannot believe that I'm in here and that this is ours but when we first walked through this place it was so full full of like garbage <laughs> like we filled up Seven, eight dumpsters, just of boxes. A lot of boxes, honestly. Um, like nothing too crazy, but honestly, it was just like, it was kind of part of the deal where we're like, all right, this is the price and we'll worry about cleaning everything out. So Mystery on Mac is located in the Island View neighborhood, which is the east side of Detroit. Um, the building is right off on a main road called Mac Avenue. It is five minutes from Belle Isle, five minutes from downtown. Honestly, I feel like it's a perfect location it has an it's in an industrial setting um, which makes it super unique there's a lot of people in the neighborhood already um, transforming and doing more live work spaces so it's kind of cool to be a part of this like this next like movement of like adapted reuse like this is what it looks like in the city as much as I love houses I love warehouses more welcome to this shit show <laughs> it feels like there's more stuff because she what, like what picked what she, she picked what she wanted. Hey, they so left they left some beers. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna call the guy in the dumpster right now. So what do you think? First glance. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you get to the next room. It's like, damn, girl. <laughs> yeah, she left all these snacks. I feel like these might be new. Low key.
That's the garage. Let's, yeah, let's go through. Go out that door. I sent you, I texted you, I don't know if you didn't reply to you. Okay. Okay, just, yeah, give me a call. So come through the back alley, and there's a, a double gate. I'll open the gate. So, we have what we like to call a Detroit trailer over here, which is half of a truck with a hitch on it. still here. We're downstairs is just a little blocked off yet. Yeah. When it comes to the design of mystery on Mac, I'm really excited to just really be experimental. I mean, we we use reclaimed materials and we're really like our whole ethos is to redefine how society sees reclaimed materials in design um, and spaces. So we've done a couple projects in the past. Um, our latest project was called the WT Philly House, which it was, I think it was like a 2,000 square foot house in the North End neighborhood in Detroit. Um, completely fire damaged. We bought this thing for like four grand, put way too much money into it. Um, and we were able to incorporate a ton of salvage, like the staircase came from a house in Corktown. Um, the countertops were made from science labs from a historic college in Detroit. Um, we use wild materials like vintage painter scaffolding for like shelves. It was such an amazing project. Um, and also just experience in general because we were able to really transform the space and integrate so much rich Detroit culture. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to do it again in this space because I love the whole idea of adaptive reuse and this is the perfect project 
for us to really get wild and play with the materials. So while this project is gonna have a lot of ups and downs, I hope you guys are here for the journey and for the experience. I hope you guys can live, live the experience with us. Um, as I'm looking around, I can, I can see the vision and I hope you guys can too. So make sure to like, subscribe, check out our Instagram just for more daily updates. But um, yeah, it's gonna be all good vibes here and I hope it inspires you to buy a warehouse and turn to your house. Maybe not, but if you did, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> Take it easy.